one. But I mean, Moonal, you know, he'll 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 throw down. With the DK. Yeah, I feel like whenever he's like not feeling good, he'll he'll go back to DK. But like, mm -hmm. definitely Wario, the better character. I think For the sure. character is better For sure. on. I mean, you know, Wario. Uh, Against Mega Man, he's got that airspeed most definitely, and we're gonna see it coming in right there with that full hop nair. But Mega Man certainly has opportunities to just wall out Wario. Yeah, the thing is though, I feel like by like the nature of Mega Man, Munel can very likely get two walks a game. Which oh is, yeah, which for is really sure. nice. If he if he opts for the defensive play and kind of just holds back, you know, mitigating uh, any of that that Mega Man pressure just just by movement alone. We may very well see two wafts on the board here. We already got over 9k at 96% though, so we might not even have time for two wafts. We'll see. Ooh, and that oh. back air, yep. Classic, gonna catch that. Holding in, in disadvantage, trying to get back to that stage. And, and Munal just gonna stuff it out with the back air. Okay, so that was, that was clean from over Yeah, 9K. over definitely putting on the pressure now with those fares, with that, uh, try to side the stage, stop getting fancy. Oh yeah, he's living. He's big chilling. We got Munel though, with the advantage. I mean, against a character like Mega Man with his weight, it's gonna be pretty, pretty lucrative on hit for for Munel here. And I feel like right there, that, that's like I feel like the, the most classic thing I see is like when someone's making a, like a comeback, is they like start getting a string going, and then they just like they feel too confident, they go for a crazy yeah, kill like that, their, that up till their like, big crazy kill option that also has like 40 gazillion frames of end lag. So feeling himself a little too much on that up tilt, and, but and we are at deck. even stocks. Even stocks, but this is potentially a half. Half waft. Yeah, waft, you know, should be uh, should be coming into play soon. Yeah, here. yeah, I was gonna say full waft about to just be on deck. That's right. Yeah, I mean, you know, over not necessarily at a percent where we're gonna see the confirm. So you know, and the, the match been pretty fast paced overall so far. So I don't know if you know yeah. is playing for two wafts here. Uh, we might just see the raw waft come out. I'm not sure. I mean, Ova kind of evening it up. You know, you might want the security of that confirm into that waft. And, and I, I definitely it. agree. If you can get a kill with the waft that you couldn't with anything else, I think you go for it and then play slow on the last stock to get a half waft. Yeah, the game. for sure. There's definitely a lot to consider with Wario on the screen. You know, you you kind of have to like uh, budget your wafts here. Oh. That down air gonna catch Munel drifting in that time, hitting him into the side of the stage, but missing the tech. And we got over 9k continuing over the pressure. 9K. Oh, with the uppy shenanigans. It's yeah, that leaf levels. shield on the on the or that leaf shield on on Wario Shield gonna be over the back air. And you see Munel getting the grab here. Definitely at this point gonna save the wall for the next stock. Ooh, yeah, over whiffing that up smash, you know, trying to cover all that space, but I mean, that that just leaves you vulnerable for so long that definitely not the play. Oh, wow. I think he clanked with his own grab on that on that command grab right there. And Munel, you know, thought he had it, so he kept pressing E. These leaf shields have been pretty good from over right now. I mean, one of, one of the hallmarks of Mega Man gameplay is not a lot, a lot of characters can do. Oh, and, and now Mandel's kind of trying to force it a bit. Uh, yeah. Right there, really telegraphed with your like, two landing up into an up tilt. That's right, yeah, definitely trying to get that uh, confirm into uh, some sort of up air, up tilt. You saw it right there, he kind of full hopped right over him. Was seeing if he could sneak in that, that landing up air. And once again, going for that landing up air. I mean, Ova playing a little more passive than before, knows that this game could end in the next hit. Yeah, and, and he knows how much Mandel's landing on him, so he's been doing stuff like full hop, uh, full hop, uh, the fire, fair, Ooh, full up fair. Going and for the uh, down air there. I mean, I, I don't know if he could have secured the up air on that. Oh, again, I mean, Munel just threatening with these up airs. The percent building on Wario, but definitely a character that can survive very long. He's going to live that back air. Trying to get back to the stage. Overthrowing himself off the stage. Instead of the ledge trap, trying to seal this game real quick. But we see... Once again, what is he going to do off stage? Oh, he goes oh. for the side beat. It works out for him that time, gimping Wario. Wow. You know, something I feel like I've seen from like a decent amount of Wario's, like besides like literally like Lutini, is that they get waft, and I feel like they play worse when they do. They get yeah, uh, that's definitely a trap that you can get yourself. You know, if you tunnel vision for that 
for that kill. I mean, that kill at 50% is is great and it seems you know i'm down to lose three four interactions maybe against a character like Mega Man if i can if i can get that that waft on the fourth one but over 9k showing no cracks in the armor there and, and really just yeah. shutting down the the game plan and the and the thirst for the kill there i i i feel like you know was playing so on point and using like air speed and such to kind of like do react based punishes on Mega Man's projectiles that's right but instead over 9k could literally just stand still and mm do anti-airs, do like fade back pellets to stuff out Wario. Yeah, he was, I mean, he had a lot of momentum going into that first game. I think over 9 k definitely recognized that he has to space, you know, where he is on the stage differently against a character with the airspeed of Wario allowing him to avoid that waft. I mean, he had no wafts that game. No, none. And I think, I think it's honestly because thinking about it too much. Yeah. Like, I, at this point, just whiff one and get another one going rather than try so hard on one waft. Mm -hmm. That being said, over 9K never really gave him an opportunity to even try one. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he could have been a little more patient, probably, you know, tried to scout out some of that movement instead of looking for the raw confirm. But, you know, against Wario, that's your bread and butter. That's what you need. And, and when your opponent is denying you that that juicy confirm, things can get a little rough. But let's see, let's see what we're, we're looking at in this game, too. We got, we got once again, Lunel starting with a lot of advantage. Yeah, Waffless, you know, uh, definitely a different beast. <laughs> definitely a different beast. Kind of just waiting out that uh, oh, those uppy shenanigans on the ledge option. there. He, he, he did get hit for it last game, so it's good adaptation. Oh, oh man, what the? What, I, I, <laughs> what just happened? If I had to guess, he was, I think, trying to do like a ledge hop and like a fastball up air to punish it before yeah. Wario landed. Uh -huh. And did not like hop onto the stage. Oh, what are just we, fast fell to what are we doing? We are. And now, that opting for grab, I, I feel I was wondering if like a uh, nair. Into, yeah, like, you might have been able to get a nair on the end lag there, and, and probably got a bigger punish. But, but I mean, that that twenty six percent off the up throw grab is no nothing to Ooh. too upset about. The second downer coming yeah, in for so over. Clean. That's like not that easy to do. That's one of the uh, the the better parts of Ova's play when I played him. You always got to watch out for that down air because he will do it to you. And unfortunately, that waft sending the wrong way. I mean, good on Munel for pulling the trigger a little earlier than last game. Yeah, but I, I still think, I mean, all in all, that's fine. Like, it was like 40% and put Mega Man at ledge. You have 100% lead and you can keep playing the way you were. Yeah, that's right. I mean, the way this game's looking, you know, I mean, huge advantage for Munel right now. So probably thinking about building that, uh, that second waft there. And Ova that's such a scary trap right there. Oh, getting a little advantage with that Nair. Ooh, a caught Lunel kind of drifting in, but picked oh. one of the more obvious options to punish it, allowing him to avoid it. And that was so scary right there. The down airs have been really on point from Ova. Let's see what this what this ledge interaction looks like. I mean, we've seen Ova really been able to keep Lunel in disadvantage this entire set. Ooh, you could have definitely, I feel like you could have up tilted that. I'm not sure if it would have killed, but. Yeah, I believe Varya's up smash is it's really very, laggy. very yeah. laggy. I mean, you know, sometimes with the way that shield lag is in this game, you kind of just want to go for your, your regular punish. Oh. Speaking of up tilt, trying to call out something. Maybe that was a miss input. I'm not yeah, sure, I'm not but sure. Or, definitely or like not the best up tilt. The raw is dashing call out of all time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Munel is is definitely holding forward in, in a lot of these instances. We, we talked about how he wasn't necessarily patiently scouting out these options. We got a we got a last stock game. Yeah, here. and considering you know last stock um, that uh, Ovo was down 100 percent, like straight up, you know, was at zero. This is a really good spot for. Oh no, yeah, for sure. I mean, in both of these games, we've seen Ova kind of just inch his way back into the game, and oh. Bruno really just landing on him in yeah. a pretty linear way, allowing him to get that double up smash. You just you can't be forcing the issue, Ooh. and that was clean. Yeah, I they, wonder, you know, I feel like you know, might have had half off. He might have. I'm not sure. I, I don't know the exact timer, but, like, what is it? A minute and a, a half? A minute and a half, I believe. Is it a minute and a half? Because in that case, I think he did have it because he busted that first oh. one. Ooh. He used it right there on the re-grab. Good stuff. Yeah. That's huge. Like, you know, he, he was starting to fold a bit, but he was able, like, but he clearly was able to gather his mental enough to clutch yeah. it out, which he was not able to do game one. So showing some improvement from the first game. For sure, for sure. I mean, clutching out that game obviously is huge. You know, you you were the favorite to win it in the start, and it, that that kind of stuff can definitely get to you once when your opponent starts making a comeback. But I wonder how differently this game could have gone though if Ova 
did not do that and yeah. did not SD his first stock. Like, I feel like Ova definitely kind of, you know, we've been talking about Munel kind of giving some free, like, openings away. For but sure. Ova started to do that bit, too. I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, a play. lot of flubs coming out from Ova. Two, you know, just straight up technical flubs on that first one on that on that SD. And the second one on that up tilt giving, giving Munel two free kills. Yeah. And I mean, you know, the re-grab on the ledge, you definitely got to be aware. Not even of just the waft, the F tilt. You know, down air will come in from Wario often. It's, I mean, and you the, know. And the re grab's interesting because Mega Man, like, is a character that can up B and then, like, air dodge after or something. Yeah, you know? for so sure. So. You, you could have up B past ledge maybe and, like, baited out. But mm -hmm. it's obviously easier to say in hindsight. Give me swapping colors. Is that rock, We got man? the peanut butter chocolate something. Mega Man right now. I don't know enough about Mega Man. But I, have, I have no idea. It's a nice color scheme. Mega Man's got some fire colors for sure. We're going to be getting into this game three now. Perhaps Ova realizing, you know, I've been getting bodied on these first stocks for, for quite a while. Maybe I'll play a little more patient now. Yeah, I really like Battlefield as a counterpick kind because of uh, I feel like almost all of what like Wario likes to get is landing on you. Yeah, There's so for much sure. of what Wario likes to get is, is based on landing on you with his airspeed. So these little platforms, little house or little yeah, ceilings. Yeah, gonna to make protect. it a little more difficult, thank you, to uh, to land on him with those land I mean it's still possible you you kind of just have to go through the platform, but definitely gonna be a little harder for for Nail to uh, space out now. And overall just providing excellent cover for Ova on that platform. All right, we, we for the first time we see Ova taking a lead, but I mean we'll uh, see how. Ooh, no, no, no jump, up B yeah. coming out from yeah. Ova. That was actually so huge from Ova, and then these ledge flubs have been getting a lot of stocks. I mean, twice last game, and now being a little like not positioning quite right to make it so there was a chance he died. That's right. I mean, we got Munel. I mean, the the you know ledge pressure from a character like Wario is going to be very scary. A lot of options I can take the stock early. Ooh. And half off the things give me on deck in seven seconds. So yeah, we'll see. I mean, oh, oh, and there you go. Like you said, it was probably the dash call on yeah. in that previous game, but getting it that time yeah, was that over. Was, that was raw. Um, Most definitely very raw. Oh, and we got a oh. fat string going on right now. Thirty-three percent landing with the leaf shield. We now have been struggling to deal with the landing uh, with the leaf shield and, this entire time. And set. Ova's feeling really confident. He just like oh, did yeah, a standing sure. still grab because he knew Munel would hold forward. And look at this grab, Munel. Giving, uh, giving Ova so many openings. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, Ova even kind of gave him a little bit of space to breathe in, but Munel kind of just rushed right in there as soon as he possibly could. That up smash is not going to kill. And that up air like was Wario. really... And, ooh, he oh, almost died. that was so close. <laughs> he almost died, but now he's at that percent where you're not going to get as many of your reliable waft confirmed. Yeah, so you're you gonna just got to find it on a you're heavy gonna have character to find like it. Okay, you got you to chill with You these. definitely got to chill. I mean, Munel is, is showing that he's willing to hold forward in these situations. But I mean, you're putting your life on the line with these upsells, yeah, my guy. It, it's just a matter of risk reward at that wow, point. Like, and, is and the like five percent chance that Munel runs in again worth dying for? Yeah, I mean, Munel not delivering on these punishes though. So I mean, for for Ova, you're thinking like, what do I have to lose? I guess. Ooh. Maybe your stock right here. Yeah, we'll see what Munel can get done. I really like that Don't leaf that. blade. Ooh, not getting that grab there was kind of big, but Ova kind of getting out of that situation. And landing once again with that leaf shield been in almost oh, oh. very difficult for Manel to deal with, but as I say that, once, not the best positioning on that leaf yeah, shield. Once again, the the risk reward factor, you know, going for the small chip of leaf shield when it's so laggy, you know, you just gotta stay back if you're over right there. And you know Jumpless. Desperately trying to get back to the stage, get back to center. Oh. Okay. Okay, could have started a string there, but Ova gonna land with a nair and get out of that pressure. I mean, Munel, we see him kind of run up shield to projectile, oh, run up shield to projectile. Death. And then once he gets oh, into position, he goes that for that nair. That was an up tilt, I feel like, uh, Perhaps. that dash attack. But Perhaps. it's definitely kind of hard to react to a really laggy option like that sometimes. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, the movement from Munel is just really getting called out. He's not exactly using these platforms to his advantage very well, but I mean, we are looking at Wario right now. He wants those hits. He this, wants that walk. This but. is like beyond frustrating for me now right now. Yeah, you've been for sure. Kind of holding forward and have taken now 181 like chip damage over yeah, time. Yeah, I mean Ova just ooh his present. Oh, yeah, he's, you have he's to gotta walk. use the walk to live. Oh, we yeah. get the neutral get up called out by that uh, by that forward smash. I, I think once he had to spend the walk, it was almost over. Like, yeah, just I mean the lack of confidence you feel in that comeback once you don't have your like yeah one that your comeback factor yeah. for sure. 
definitely uh, some smart decision making there from from Munel to to get back to the stage, but unfortunately, gonna immediately get hit with that uh, that S smash. And Ova Ova was honestly playing really clean. Like I think almost all his stock losses were like just like off of like one oh, stupid yeah. mistake. Mm -hmm. So if he just like you know was a bit a bit like less risky on ledge and overheated less, I feel like is a good way to describe it. Like he had he started getting strings and then went for something laggy yeah. and died for it. Yeah. So if he just like play a little bit more reserved once he was gaining momentum so that he did not put his own life in danger and mix up his ledge options again like he would have been playing like near perfect you know so yeah for sure and i mean we saw potential. that we saw that coming out from that yeah over definitely a very solid player we saw that coming out in that third game i mean his presence in the center of the stage combined with the fact that munel was was really eager to just hold forward you know paying dividends for over there because he just boxed out wario for like three straight minutes and got him to 180 Leading to a, a kill eventually. Oof, that I, was a raw I, I, ass call. I, it, it is cool when it works. You that know? was raw. I mean, but at that, you know, he whiffed it like twice. You gotta expect it at that point. If yeah. You know. And I don't know about that di on that on that fair. I'm not sure if that would have should have. Uh, yeah, the fair like it, it's a little awkward when it kills. It, it almost looks like it doesn't, but then it does. But uh. Yeah, that was that was poor positioning on that leaf show. This right, right there. here, the stage spike forcing the wall. Oh, he took the headphones off, dude. He thought it, he thought it was yeah. over. And but ba then basically it was. was. <laughs> yeah, okay, I mean, but... Wario with no waft, you, you need to make some magic happen. Yeah. And... Right now we got. Oh, right now oh, we, got we, a have a, we have a caster swap. swap. So oh, 